but this phone is incredibly snappy with uh, the old CPU and only 5 meg 512 megs of RAM. But um, as you can see, just scrolling, opening up and down the drawers, flicking through the home screens, going up and down. It's not a slow device. Sure, there's going to be like hiccups when you do uh, certain really like intensive things like playing Raging Thunder or Angry Birds Space because that's uh, quite a, a resource-heavy game. I'll tell you what, guys, there's not a lot you can fault this phone on. Uh, what I was going to tell you, it's got Bluetooth uh, 2.1 plus EDR, so if you've got uh, wireless Bluetooth speakers, you can stream the music. Same with the wireless Bluetooth headphones. Uh, it's got a 5 megapixel autofocus rear camera with an, a single LED flash and a front facing VGA camera. Uh, annoyingly, again because of the old architecture, Skype doesn't recognise the front facing camera and therefore you won't be able to make video calls. But I have tested apps such as Fring and Tango which do recognise the front facing camera so there are workarounds. I think they're trying to make a Skype version work for this and other ARMv6 FFC enabled phones. Um, uh, this is gingerbread. Like I said, uh, there, like I said, there is an ice cream sandwich ROM floating around. There is also a couple of uh, what they call debranded ROMs, which basically strip out all the orange junk and is almost as stock as possible. A bit like a Cyanogen mod ROM. They try and get it as stock as possible so you can get the uh, fastest, smoothest experience. But I just put a new launcher and a new uh, messaging app because I don't like orange ones. Oh, and um, an alarm clock because one of the annoying things Orange did is they went over and got rid of a couple of these stock inbuilt apps. Uh, what else? Uh, it's got a GPS, so assisted GPS. So if you're, it'll use your cell, your cellular signal, your mobile signal, as well as a GPS to get a more precise location fix on you. Uh, now, the device comes with a 1200 milliamp hour battery, so it's not the biggest battery in the world. But that again, this is one of the few things I really cannot stand. This is, this phone has got abysmal battery life. Um, like I take off the charger at half past seven in the morning to go to college, and uh, I don't finish college till five in the evening. By about three half past three, I get the warning fifteen percent sign. So that might just be me, like being a bit heavy, but. I do as much as I can. I keep brightness on 50%. Uh, Wi-Fi is off as soon as I leave the house. So that's one thing to notice. The uh, talk time, it's four and a half hours of standby. Uh, four and a half hours of talk time, sorry, that's solid talk time. And 240 hours of standby. Now, to me, that is complete poppycock. That is rubbish. Like I told you, I'm finding it really hard to make it through a full day and I'm if I can might buy an extended battery or I might just have to buy a second battery for my device. Uh, it has got 3G HSDPA or 3G plus as Orange calls it. Uh, so I think that's HSDPA 7.2 megabits per second down. Uh, that's if you're on Orange. Like I said I don't use Orange if you can see here I'm on GIFGAF. Uh, so one of the only things I did to this phone uh, after the unboxing was unlocked it so I could use it on my carrier. Uh, I did do a speed test uh, with Orange and I did it about peak time so I did it about quarter to six in the evening and I got, ooh, if I was lucky, I did a couple and the most I ever saw was about 1.8 uh, uh, down and about 0.7 up. Uh, 3G isn't great in the UK but so if I, uh, so if I turn Wi-Fi off now uh, Scroll down, speedtest.net, sorry about that, uh, really, need, yeah, really need to find a better placement for um, this tripod, I keep knocking it over, agree to terms and conditions, make sure it's in the right place, so Ashford, megabits, that was annoying, yeah make sure it's in the right place, so Ashford, yeah, speed test, begin test. So like I said, I'm running on uh, GIFGAF's 3G, so initially it's showing HSDPA, so 
but like I said, 3G in the UK is absolutely terrible. It's comparable to about, I don't know, who's got really terrible 3G in the States? Uh, I'm not going to pick on AT&T, because everyone does, and I haven't used them personally. I'd probably say Verizon's 3G, and that's because Verizon has an old 3G technology. It has uh, EVDO, which is CDMA based. As you can see, I got, uh, I got basically 1 meg down and 0 0.4 up. So it's not great, and the ping time is meh. It's about midday here, so I've I've had it right. If I uh, open the browser, sorry, and uh, just navigate to my site, you can. If I just sorry, go here. So www.mobile. It help if I could actually spell mobile-dom.co.uk. And as you can see, I'm not actually using the uh, standard gingerbread keyboard because I don't really like it. So I downloaded the and downloaded. Them. I downloaded and paid for ice cream sandwich keyboard because uh, it's just so much better. You can see, like scrolling in the website, scrolling in the browser. Sorry, when it works, or whoops. Uh, scrolling in the site is really good. If I go to the view web version. And you can see roughly how fast uh, this loads up. I've cleared the history and the cache and everything. So you are seeing real-time uh, rendering. Sorry, guys. <coughs> oh, well, it's just, just joking. It's fine. And you'll see it will just sit here for a bit, trying to finish. So you know, uh, pinch the zoom is all right. But obviously, you notice the page is still loading. So it's a bit choppy. Uh, I'll, t I'll try it again. But if I... Just scroll. It's not too bad. Very smooth. So look, now, now it's uh, loaded. Pincer zoom is incredibly smooth. Zoom in as far as I can. I don't, again, I don't know why I'm bringing it really close because you can't see it. But zoomed in as far as I can. Let me just take it off camera. I cannot see pixels unless I go incredibly close. So, to me, that's a good sign of approval. But there you go. So you see how fast uh, the UK's uh, or GIFGAF's 3G is, which is technically O2's 3G. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, HSDPO and HSUPO. Uh, the bands for, or if you want to import this, uh, 2G it uses 900 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, and 1900 megahertz. So that's for 2G, and 3G is 900 megahertz, 1900, and 2100. So if I am correct you should be able to use this on AT&T. Possibly T-Mobile, I'm not sure. I think T-Mobile used 1700 and 21 and 2100. I'm not sure at the moment. I don't take my word for it. Just read up on what your what band your carrier uses. Um, now, I'm not a massive fan of using uh, benchmarks, but uh, Quadrant Standard has been updated. It's a bit better now, even though this isn't a dual-core device. I'll run the benchmark for you. I'll skip to the end so you don't have to sit and wait. Alright guys, and now we're back with the result. Uh, now let's see what we get. Uh, sorry if I can take this off screen. Alright, we got 619, which is at the bottom of the scale here. But uh, what did you expect? We're not rocking uh, dual 1.5 gigahertz CPUs with gigabytes of RAM. We are looking at a mid, uh, a low range, a low end phone here, which just happens to be really sweet. I mean, it's got, it's actually really good at video processing. You know, on uh, Quadrant, the bit where it goes to the corridors and it has the glowing lights, that was incredibly smooth, a lot smoother than on the San Francisco or the Monte Carlo. So I shall give it that. Um, Right, let me just give you some pros and cons about the Monte Car uh, the San Francisco 2 that I really, really like. Uh, it's really slender, it's really lightweight, which I said before. It's relatively snappy, like just going through home screens. There's almost like little to no lag. I mean, if you've never owned an Android phone before, as, I mean, as long as you're doing something like this and putting a custom launcher on it and not using Orange, it's terrible stuff, um, you will be rel you'll be really happy. Uh, so yeah, it's got a really crisp screen. I mean, I had, like I said earlier, the OLED um, 
Monte uh, San Francisco and I loved it. I mean, I really couldn't think of going back to TFTs. But colour reproduction is really good in this. Obviously, the blacks aren't completely black and whites aren't brilliant. But still, it's really, really nice. Uh, the viewing angles are really good. So, and they only do, so, I mean, in my eyes, they only really start to wash out at really extreme angles. So, that's good. Um, it really, it's a really fast charger. I mean, if you've got it plugged into a socket, not a computer, it will only take about two and a half, three hours to fully charge. But obviously you're going to be needing to do that a lot because, like I said, the battery life is terrible. It's really cheap and cheerful, guys. I really can't fault it. Um, it's got a really loud loudspeaker. If I uh, just go into music and not uh, YouTube because I don't have uh, the rights to anything. If I just play the... If I just play something. Uh, let's just scroll through and stop. See? Extremely loud. And it only gets distorted in the top quarter of the volume range, so. Uh, it's got really smooth uh, video playback, so if you uh, go to the Google Play Store, which is really hard to say, instead of, uh, uh, what's it called? The Android Market. So if I just uh, put this video in here, which is my friend uh, Blake. I don't know if you can see this, it's just quite small. Uh, the playback is just incredibly smooth, so take that back there. Um, there is an LED light here, and I haven't got any notifications, so I can't show you. But I will plug it in to sort of simulate the effect. Uh, if you are charging, it's red. Uh, if you've got notifications, it flashes green. I was really hoping it was going to be like an RGB, like on the Galaxy Nexus. So you can set different colours for different notifications. But it really is red for charging, green for notifications. And obviously it, the red light goes green when it's fully charged. Um, now, like I said, onto some cons. Uh, the battery life is terrible. It's got really low internal memory. I mean, like you can see here, I've now got the low on space. Uh, and I've got everything possible moved to the memory card. So, uh, and I'll say the top end, so from about here, we're halfway down the uh, time clock upwards when it's plugged in or when I'm on a call it gets extremely hot that is one th that's one fault it, it does get really hot and I'm not sure if that's just the that's where um, the CPU is or something like that it's just it just gets really hot uh, there's no camera button and uh, that's just like me being like personal preference uh, I'm nowhere near a photographer as you can tell by the quality of my videos or the photos I shoot on Google Plus but um, a camera button would really be nice even if it was a single stage and have a Hey, uh, the volume rocker and the power buttons are tiny. Like seriously, they are really small. And like I can imagine, like uh, once this is rooted and it has clockwork recovery, clockwork mod recovery installed, uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to navigate because it's got such a tiny volume rocker. Um, uh, uh, the camera. Like the Monte Carlo, it's just it's so so unless you're in perfect light and you're really still. But if you are like that, you can get some pretty decent shots. Pretty decent shots. Wow, I really can't speak in this video today, guys. I'm really sorry. And last but not least, uh, this uh, downside is complete blame to Orange, and that is crapware. And they really have just plastered this poor phone with loads of it. Uh, there. I counted, there is 20 bits of crapware, and this is including apps they've uh, overrided, so certain apps like the uh, stock browser app, so if I go into the tray, you can see the browser icon isn't here anymore, I would replace that with internet. So uh, let me just, I've written a list down, because it's going to take a while to scroll through them all, I've written a list over here, so there is the alarm, so they replaced the stock a lot, the clock app. There is App Shop, which is just their App Shop. There's uh, Contacts Backup, Docs to Go, uh, Games, Gestures, Internet. They got rid of the Android browser. Lookout Mobile Security, Mail, Maps, Notepad, Orange Wednesdays, Orange Wi-Fi, Signal Boost, Ringtone, Stopwatch, Task Manager, Tetris, Weather, and Your Orange. 20 bits of useless crapware that don't need to be there. And obviously you can't uninstall them 
without rooting and most people won't want to do that but uh, if you do want to root it you're probably not going to go and get root on installer you're going to probably put a custom debranded ROM on there which comes without it anyway so uh, I will give this phone 4 out of 5 I only think uh, uh, it loses a whole point purely based on battery life uh, I'm out a lot when I'm at my house it's fine I can just have it on charge that's fine when I like you can see the percentage was about 50% when we started this video and it's now at 27 so I can't battery life is one of the few things that really annoys me I mean I paid um, and but you really can enjoy this phone this phone is cheap and cheerful like I said before it's uh, when I paid it, it was a hundred and it was a hundred pounds with the twenty pound top up. I just checked on the site before this is now eighty pound with a ten pound top up. So you guys should just enjoy it, get it while you can. It comes in black or white. I got it in black because I'm not a massive fan of white phones; they get dirty too easily. So, but uh, yeah, I give this thumbs up. Love this device. Uh, happily gonna use it as my uh, primary device. To, for the unseen future, I mean, I, I have no reason to get rid of it. So, yeah, four out of five, Mr. Star and Battery Life. Uh, you can get me on the website, which is www.mobile-dom.co.uk, and I've been told by multiple people just typing in uh, just typing in mobile-dom.co.uk doesn't work. So you will have to type in www. That's a hosting issue. I shall get that sorted soon. Uh, you can get me on Twitter, which is twittercom forward slash mobile underscore dom. You can circle me on G Plus on Google Plus, which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti. And uh, last but not least, I do personal consultations and repairs and modifications for certain phones. Uh, consultations for phones and tablets. So if you want a new iPhone, I mean, I just had a consultation with my teacher at college. He didn't know whether to get the Galaxy Nexus or the 4S, and I helped him through his decision. Uh, modifications, if you've got a boring old uh, BlackBerry Curve, I can turn it into a Chrome one. Uh, support for the 9105 slash 9100 is coming soon, same with the uh, Curve 8900. I also uh, do facial modifications and case repairs for the Pearl 8100 series, so that's 8100, 8110 and 8120. I do not currently support the, 81, the 8220 flips because they are incredibly hard to take apart and repair. But the email address for any of those services is www. Uh, sorry, no. The email address is domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk. Until next time, guys, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. It really helps me out. Uh, until next time, guys, peace.